this time let's try to show that if 15n is even, then 9n is even. Begin with some discussion. So if 15n is even, that would mean that 15n is equal to 2 times k. Now unfortunately, our claim over here is about 9n. So in order to get to 9n, uh, what would I have to do? I guess I would have to multiply both sides of this by... Let's see, 9, 15, so we need to divide by 5 and multiply by 3, right? Because that would get us to 9n, and then on this side I'd have 6k over 5, but now I'm dividing. That's quite painful, so I don't know if that's the way I want to go. Uh, on the right-hand side, if I tried to think about this by contrapositive, then I'd have 9n is even. I'd have to suppose that 9n were odd if I wanted to go this direction by contrapositive. But then 9n equaling 2k plus 1 is still not very useful, because I'm going to have to do a lot of stuff over there. Hmm. Well, it would be useful if I could just work with n. So what would have to be true here? Since 15 times n is even, 15 itself is an odd number, right? 3 times 5. So if 15n were to be even, then that would mean that my evenness must come from the n, the factor of 2 must come from the n. So instead of that, I'm kind of being led down this path of thinking of 15n being even, implying instead of looking at 9n, let's use the factor, try to show that n must be even, because I think that should be true. And then if, 9 were, if n were even, I should be able to show that 9n is even very easily, right? Because I would be able to say that n is equal to 2k, so 9n would be equal to 18k, and that's definitely 2 times 9k. So that would work if I could show that n is even. But now this path, getting that 15n is even, implies n is even. Now I wanted to work with just n, so I'm going to approach that part by contrapositive. So what would happen if we said n is not even, instead it's odd? Well, that would imply that n is equal to 2k plus 1. And if n is equal to 2k plus 1, that would mean that 15n would be equal to 15 times 2k plus 1, which would be 30k plus 15. And I would be hoping to show the negation of the antecedent here. I'd be hoping to show that 15n was actually odd. So I'm hoping that this is equal to 2L plus 1 for some L. I need to make that L work. So let's subtract 1 from both sides. 30K plus 14 would be equal to 2L. Oh, and that's going to give me my L, isn't it? Right? Because I'll divide by 2 on both sides and get 15K plus 7 being my L. So this is the L that would establish that 15N were odd if I assumed that N were odd which would prove this extra little piece right here, which would lead me to the end of the proof. This statement is called a lemma. So I'm going to approach this problem by doing a lemma first. So what's my lemma going to look like? Lemma. If 15n is even, then n is even. Pause the video for just the lemma and see if you can prove this lemma. As my discussion was working, I could see that I wanted to do this by contrapositive. So my proof, I'm going to start off by saying proof. We proceed by contrapositive. So if I'm going to do a contrapositive, this means I will have to assume the negation of the consequent. So we will assume n is not even, but instead that it is odd. Then n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Then notice, we're going to start with the, we're going to try to convince the reader of the negation of the antecedent. So we look at what the antecedent is about. It's about 15n. Notice that 15n is equal to 15 times 2k plus 1, which is equal to 30k plus 15, and from the discussion on the other page, I know that this is equal to 2 times 15k plus 7. That gives me the 30k and the 14 plus 1. Since 15k plus 7 
is an integer, we have that 15n is odd and our result follows by contrapositive. So our result follows by contraposition. So our lemma is true and now we have established it as true. So hopefully your proof looked very similar. Now remember that wasn't actually the original claim. So pause the video yet again and see if you can now prove the claim using our lemma. If you do it correctly, hopefully it came out to look something like this. Proof. Assume 15n is even. By the lemma, which we just proved by the lemma, we know that n is even. That's why it's a helper theorem, because now I got to be able to use this in one line what I did in the previous lemma. So n is equal to 2k for some integer k, some k. But now let's look at the consequent. 9n, like we said, is going to be easy because we're going to get that 9, that 18, which is a 2 times 9. So 9n is equal to 9 times 2k, which is equal to 18k. And now I'm just going to break it down into 2 times something. So 9n is even since 9k is an integer. Remember, to be even just means you have to be equal to two times an integer. And k was an integer, so 9k is an integer, so we have two times an integer. And that completes the original claim.